Hello, today we will recap a war drama movie Stalingrad. Warning, spoilers ahead, chill out and enjoy. The film begins with the devastating news of a magnitude 9 earthquake that struck Japan in March 2011. Following the disaster in Japan, international communities sent help in rescue operations. A Russian doctor responds to the call to help injured Germans trapped beneath the building, by communicating with them through a tube equipped with a camera and microphone. One of the survivors, Nina, describes the situation. Following that, the doctor assures her that help is on its way. Nina asks him to stay and just talk with her. When he learns about Nina's family situation, he tells her about his mother and his five fathers. His story begins in the fall of 1942. To prevent the Germans from taking over the city and the river, Russian soldiers crossed the Volga River at Stalingrad, and established a foothold on the other bank. Captain Khan, a German soldier, notices the incoming Russian soldiers from the river. The four Russian soldiers on the other hand, successfully infiltrate the building and eliminate enemy soldiers. When the German soldiers fight back, a shootout occurs. Captain Gromov of the Russian soldiers is about to cut the wire of a bomb when Captain Khan arrives. The two captains fight, but Khan overpowers Gromov and he successfully detonates the bomb. The bombs exploded, killing and injuring Russian soldiers on the shore. From behind, a soldier attacks Khan, but he kills him and then flees. Outside, a battle between Russian and German soldiers is taking place. Burning Russians take the front line, and charge as the Germans shoot at them. The Germans also surprise the Russians by striking them at the river. Going back into the building, we see Gromov and one of his men hear a noise. Gromov checks and discovers Serge, a Russian soldier, hanging from the ceiling. The captain cuts the ties of Serge and asks him about the Germans. He holds him responsible for their men dying from fire after failing to get them across a river. A hostage is being held by a German soldier. Fortunately, one of Gromov's men, Nikki Foroff, sneaks up behind the man and attacks him. Then they realize the hostage is a woman. Following that, another Russian soldier arrives and introduces himself as Polyakov. The five soldiers are seated with the woman. The doctor claims that the woman is her mother, and the five soldiers are his fathers. When morning arrives, a plane crashes, waking the woman up. She discovers Gromov using the radio to communicate with another soldier. He then tells her she must leave or she will die, to which she responds that she won't. The woman then requests his canteen and leaves. The woman then requests the canteen for the four soldiers. In response, the soldiers inquire about her name, to which she responds, Katya. Meanwhile, a man named Officer Krasnov approaches the captain and introduces himself. The colonel in the German camp questions Khan about allowing the Russians to take over the building. He then tells him that they should take it back by the next day. Returning to the Russians, a local mother and her child enter the building. They look for the box they're carrying, but all they find is sand and dirt. The woman claims they use it to make porridge, and requests to let them go. The scene shifts to Khan visiting a civilian community. He is paying a visit to a Russian woman named Masha, to whom he is attracted due to the woman's resemblance to his deceased wife. Khan continues to speak, but the two cannot understand each other's language. Back to the Russians, Gromov is telling others that they can't let the enemies in. Then Shvanov arrives and informs them of what's going on in the square. German soldiers force civilians to line up in the square. Colonel Hensa then inquires of the woman who entered the building earlier with her child, whether she is a Jew. Despite her denials, the Germans imprison her and her child and burn them alive. Captain Gromov inquires whether Chvanov has a clear shot of the officer, but the answer is no. Khan arrives and tries to stop it but Colonel Hensa steps in. The Russian soldiers, as well as Katya, stand and watch as the Germans burn the mother and child alive. Katya begs them to intervene. Angered Gromov snatches the sniper from Chvanov, and shoots the soldier with a flamethrower. And the Russian soldiers attack the Germans at his command. There is a battle to the death. When the Germans learn that the mortars are ready, they retreat and attack the Russians with explosives, causing the Russians to retreat as well. Khan returns to Masha after the battle. He discovers her sulking in the corner, holding a knife. Captain Khan simply snatches the knife from her grasp and pulls her up, exposing her long hair. He then tears Masha's dress apart. Returning to the Russians, Katya is treating Nikiforov's wound when she recognizes his name. She then tells him that before the war, she and her mother used to go to his concerts. When Shvanov arrives, he informs Nikki Foroff that Gromov is looking for him. Katya asks him before he leaves if he could sing her a song one day. Shvanov perplexed, 
inquires about it, and Katya shows him a poster depicting Nikki Foroff as a singer. Following that, we see Gromov direct Nikki Foroff and another soldier to take down the soldiers scavenging the plane for ammunition. The doctor then recounts Nikki Foroff's history. Nikki Foroff was a local celebrity before enlisting as a volunteer when the war broke out. Then we see Nikki Foroff easily defeating the Germans. The scene shifts back to Khan sitting in the bed, while Masha is naked. Chvanov then asks Katya if she wants to learn how to shoot. Then he mocks her for not telling them how she truly survived leaving with the Germans, then leaves. Katya is triggered, and asks them if they all want to ask her about it. But no one does. Serge intends to confront Chvanov when Katya walks out, but Polyakov stops him. Krasnov then tells Polyakov to calm Katya down, unaware that Gromov is watching from outside. Following that, we see Polyakov discussing his family with Katya. The doctor then tells us that Polyakov's family was killed in a bombing. Katya, who is tired, asks to sleep in his lap, reminding him of his wife, who used to do the same thing. Masha is mocked for being a fascist tramp in the scene. Katya then approaches Chvanov and requests that he teach her how to use a gun. Katya notices Masha when she looks through the scope. Chvanov jokingly tells her to shoot her, which she didn't find funny. Katya then notices a German on his way to get some water. Chvanov orders her to kill him. Gromov tries to intervene but Katya already pulled the trigger, killing the German. Gromov scolds them, but Chvanov claims it's a German soldier. It turns out that his family is also killed by German soldiers. The doctor describes how the Germans murdered Chvanov's family, particularly his younger brother, who was murdered because his name was the same as Lenin's. Katya butts in, claiming that she kills soldiers who fire back at them. Chvanov tries to defend himself, but he is shot in the arm. The scene shifts to German soldiers approaching the civilians. Seeing Masha and Captain Khan together, Colonel Hensa mocks Captain Khan for falling for a Russian woman and failing to hold the building. Meanwhile, Gromov informs Katya that she must leave. Everyone is falling for her, and if she dies, everything will fall apart. Katya, on the other hand, says she wants to stay and fight with them. Gromov is about to decline, citing age, when Katya shows him her passport. He notices that it's her birthday, and she's already 19 years old. The captain then departs, telling Katya that he will inform the others of her birthday. Serge awaits him outside and tells him to leave Katya alone. Gromov punches him, reminding him that Katya is not his. The Germans, on the other hand, are transporting civilians to the station. Khan appears and searches for Masha. He then gets into a car and drives through the crowd until he finds her. Back at the Russians, Serge and Polyakov successfully ricocheted a bullet into the German camp, resulting in a chain reaction of explosions. Following the celebration, we hear the doctor tell us Serge's backstory. He is the sole survivor of his unit, which was tasked with defending the town. Then we see Khan take Masha to their camp, where Colonel Hensa scolds him. Khan promises to take back the building in exchange for allowing Masha to stay there for a while. The colonel agrees but threatens to kill him if he does not comply. The scene shifts to Katya visiting a nearby grave. According to the doctor, Katya is the sole survivor, not only of her family but also of her friends and neighbors. She's also the one who buried them. Serge is looking for a gift for her when Nikki Foroff grabs him. After explaining his objectives to Nikki Foroff, he assists Serge in locating the bathtub that Serge is referring to. In the German camp, Khan orders his men to repair the tank's cannon. Then we see Khan rallying his men to reclaim the building. Gromov orders his men to take position upon seeing the Germans. Serge and Polyakov accompany Katya upstairs while the captain, Chvanov, and Nikki Foroff pose as dead soldiers. When the German enters the building and lowers their guard in the presence of dead soldiers, the three seize the opportunity to attack. Polyakov and Serge rush to their aid. Chvanov then takes a seat in the machine gun and fires at the enemies outside. The five soldiers were successful in driving the Germans away. Gromov even had Khan captured, but he was distracted by Chvanov fighting an enemy, allowing Khan to flee. At their camp, Colonel Hensa scolds Khan for failing again. He then informs him that he will return to the headquarters for a while. Khan's soldier informs him that the cannon is ready after the colonel has left. Meanwhile, Gromov returns to Katya, telling her to leave after they successfully avoid the cannon's shell. Fortunately for them, the German cannon has become stuck once more, preventing them from shooting. The doctor then tells us Captain Gromov's story. He is nothing but a man of war. No family, no relationship, and no home. Katya is the first woman he cares about, and her house is his first home. Gromov crawls over to Katya and begs her to leave, but she refuses. 
After that, they kiss. Meanwhile, we see Masha returning Khan's affection as they spend more time together. Afterward, the soldiers give Katya a small birthday celebration. Nikki Foroff also sings and plays the piano for her. They give her a hot bath as a gift after the celebration. Outside, the soldiers discuss their experiences in the war. Meanwhile, Khan promises Masha that he will take her to a safe location, where Germans nor the Russians go. Returning to the Russians, Serge approaches Katya and informs her that he will take her somewhere. They then return to his previous lookout point. He tells Katya that he loves her, and she smiles in response. Then we see Khan taking Masha to the same building to hide her, promising that he will be back for her. Gromov is surprised to see Polyakov in the bath after that. He then directs Nikiforov to locate Katya and Serge. The scene changes to Khan leaving the building when Masha follows her. Masha is shot in the head by Chvanov, who is watching them through his sniper scope. When he hears an explosion nearby, Khan falls to his knees, stunned. Meanwhile, Nikiforov fights off approaching German soldiers, but Khan appears behind him and shoots him, taking him prisoner. In their camp, Colonel Hensa praises Khan for capturing a Russian soldier. However, Nikiforov kills the colonel before being shot to death by Khan. With him back in command and the reinforcements arriving, they attack the building. Serge is about to return to the building, but Katya wants to accompany him. However, he tells her to stay. He also tells her that he loves her, and she finally responds that she loves him as well. They shoot the building, led by tanks in front, killing Chvanov in the process. Polyakov survives the attack and fights for a while before being killed by Khan, who is looking for Gromov. He is trying to connect to the headquarters when Khan finds him. The two captains fire at each other until they collapse. Serge arrives and is about to shoot Khan when Gromov intervenes. He instructs him to connect to the headquarters instead, which he does successfully. When they connect, he immediately requests an airstrike in their area. Serge assures Gromov before their deaths that Katya is safe and that she loves him. Meanwhile, Katya cries helplessly as the building crumbles to the ground. The doctor then reveals that he is named after his father Serge. His mother, on the other hand, keeps reminding him that he has five fathers. Back in the present, Nina is looking for Dr. Sergei after she and the others are finally rescued. The film concludes with Nina, a German, sharing a final moment with Dr. Sergei, a Russian, before he leaves. So this was the story of the film Stalingrad, released in 2013. If you like the story, then do watch the full film, and if you want to watch more such amazing recaps, then do subscribe to our channel. See you in the next recap.